Hey guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, today I'm going to just go over uh, some sales here for the past week, show you some of those items. Uh, we'll look at the spreadsheet here in a little bit as well. Uh, so this past week has been really good. Um, so looking at the last six days here, net sales 1,114, uh, which I am very happy with. I will take that all day. Uh, a few things that I've done here recently. So I uh, got an email from eBay. They were, it said that they've enhanced their promoted listings, and it says your promoted listings may uh, be made visible uh, on external uh, searching websites, uh, Google and whatnot. So I saw that and I was like, you know, that's that's pretty interesting. So let me try let me try this promoted thing, which I hadn't hadn't done before. Um, so I went ahead and pretty much promoted everything. Uh, almost everything, and I did it at two percent, so not not a huge not a huge number. Uh, but since then, I think I did that on Thursday, uh, and since then I've got sixteen sales uh, from the promoted listing. So sixteen sales at four thirty six fourteen, uh, which is not too bad at all. It's like twenty four percent of the sales. Um, so that's been that's been really nice to see. And the other other thing I did put uh, the laser discs on a twenty two percent. Uh, discount uh, for a little bit as well. I'm um, just trying to move some of those. You know, I've got <laughs> got quite a lot, uh, so I can trying to keep the momentum rolling on those, uh, and that that has um, that has definitely helped uh, helped as well. Uh, I really like again this this performance tab here within eBay is it's very nice. Uh, you can do you can look at a lot of here and figure out a lot of things. One thing I I think this was recently added is the average sales price per item, which is really nice to see. You don't have to, I mean, the calculation is not that hard, but you don't have to do it now. <laughs> um, they'll, they've, they've done it for you, which is uh, pretty nice. I, I, I do like that a lot. And so here with the breakdown, you can look at the fees and you can see that the promoted listings fee that I have is $8 and 25 cents. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not a huge, huge chunk of money coming out to uh, to utilize uh, the promoted listings, um, and you can set you can set the amount for however much or how little you want. I think the more you put, the more they promote it. Is my is my guess that would make sense. Um, but so that's that. Uh, all right. So here we've got the uh, Capital Electric Cooking Table. Paid a dollar for this a while back. Uh, had it listed out there for sixty five for a while. I went ahead and took an offer of 35 uh, on this one, so I was happy with that sale. All right, so here we've got the Polar Express trains here. Uh, I think I paid $3 for this set. Uh, so this is a really nice little set to look out for. I think I have one more. I don't have the, um, I don't have the remote for the other one, but I need to get that other one listed as well. Uh, so this did sell for 40. Uh, this White Wings Paper Airplane Reserved Edition. Um, so, so yeah, so this is new, um, new in the package there, and this sold for 25. And we've got some pretty interesting, um, got some pretty interesting laser discs here, uh, sorority babes, sorority babes, and the slime ball bowlerama. Just has got to be a great movie. Um, uh, just this is just classic personified here in a bowling alley from hell. There's only one way to score. That's awesome. Uh, so this went uh, as a part of that 22% off promotion, uh, sold for 34.32. And then here also in that promotion we've got Terror Train. That is a creepy conductor. Uh, that went for 23.32. Uh, here we've got the Xbox One that I just picked up uh, last weekend for uh, 135. Uh, sold out pretty quickly for 218. Uh, really quick flip. Uh, obviously not a not a huge huge profit, but still a pretty pretty solid profit. Uh, I will I will take that all day, especially as quick as quick and easy as it was to uh, to flip. Uh, Sealed Ramones, it's a live, double live DVD. Um, this is a great one to look out for if you see it anywhere. Um, this one sold for 35, brand new. And like I like I mentioned, the uh, Hooter shirts uh, have started to sell. I've sold three of them so far. Uh, this is the Hunt Club. This one is from '93. Um, and actually, it's there. There are stains <laughs> on on this shirt. 
which I obviously I highlighted those in the picture and in the listing. Um, but uh, I, I, I'm sure you can either get them out or they don't really care about them. I don't know. But anyway, this one sold for 35, which I thought was pretty pretty good. And then here, this one I thought was really cool. Uh, this was the Cincinnati Reds one, Go Reds. I think on the back it says, yeah, Go Big Red Machine. So a very cool shirt. That one sold for 30. And then here I've got a single stitch uh, as well from uh, Hawaii volleyball team. The Hawaii shirts seem to be relatively popular uh, as well. Um, not that I'm an expert because I am certainly not, <laughs> but that one sold for 28. And then here I've got this Rosetta Stone, which I just thought was interesting. I picked this up in Arizona for a dollar. Uh, this is the Chinese one, two, and three. It sold for 30 bucks. Um, I wouldn't say that I look for these, uh, but I, I have come across a couple of them recently. Uh, and if they're looking in good condition and the price is good enough, it seems like there is a pretty decent little market out there uh, for these. So this one didn't take too long to sell, and 30 bucks is a pretty pretty good price for, for something like that. So I was happy with that. And if we hop over to Excel here, we can see... On the main Laserdisc tab here, we were at 9.79 in profit, uh, 2,334 in sales. Uh, so still moving along pretty well. Uh, it's been 68 days. We've sold 188 items, uh, and $12.42 is the average sale price. So again, not bad. It's a long, long way to go, which is why I put the sale on there, trying to get some more of these moved out to make room for the other ones that I still have uh, in bins. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to them at some point. Um, and this, so this, uh, so this sheet here, this is the, I think this is the fourth or fifth, this is the fifth lot that I bought. This should have been the second lot I bought. I should have, um, should have been a little more picky with the other ones that I bought, but I was really into it at the time. But yeah, I should have been a little little bit more picky held off or something like this. This one's a really good one. Um, uh, so this is the one where I also picked up the Laserdisc player. Uh, we paid 150 bucks in total. Laserdisc player sold for 145. Uh, we've sold a couple couple really nice um, nice discs here. We had the Shining for 30, Star Wars for 80, um, and I still have the I still have the I still have the Godfather trilogy out there at 215, um, so that's that'll be another really good one once that uh, once that finally moves. But on this one, as you can see, we're at 216 in profit, 410 total in sales, and this one's been 38 days, so not uh, not not too shabby. And the Hooter shirts, I've gone ahead and thrown a spreadsheet out there as well, just the same same one. Um, as you can see here, we're at 3184 in the profit on those three shirts so far. Uh, so you paid 50 for the bin, so everything from here on out out of that bin will be profit, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't expect all of them to sell for 35. <laughs> I don't I don't think that average price of 31 is going to hold up. Uh, that would be amazing if it did. Um, but again, everything from here on out is profit, so we should do pretty well with that. I think that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, stay curious.